I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. A Dutchess County man was named in a 116-count indictment unsealed today in Orange County Court, charging him with using hidden cameras to take videos of women and girls who were using the restroom in the pit area at the Orange County Fair Speedway. 32-year-old Mitchell Lindsay pleaded not guilty to the charges of unlawful surveillance and eavesdropping during his arraignment this afternoon. Prosecutors say Lindsay secretly recorded videos of 28 different women who were using the bathroom. Eleven of the victims have been identified to this point. Lindsay was charged after police in East Fishkill confiscated his phone and discovered the videos. Police say at the time he was uh, caught trying to shoot video under a woman's skirt at a local store. Bail for Lindsay was set at $5,000. He's due back in court September 19th. State police returned to the scene of the crime at around 5 p.m. Tuesday evening to talk with drivers at County Route 1 and Ridge Road in West Town in hopes someone passed through the same area 24 hours earlier and saw something that uh, can aid in the police investigation into a fatal hit and run accident. 86-year-old Donald Wester was struck by a sport utility vehicle while he was standing on the shoulder of County Route 1 getting his mail. The driver continued on without stopping toward Route 284. Wester died a few hours later at Westchester Medical Center. Police are looking for a small gray or silver SUV, possibly a 2006 or 2007 Subaru Tribeca. Witnesses say the driver appeared to be a white a woman with a long hair. The SUV's passenger side mirror came off in the collision. Anyone with information is asked to call state police at 845-344-5300. Police have made an arrest in the case of the Albany area bank robbery that is, uh, has an Orange County connection. Only the person arrested was not the bank robber. Police have charged 40-year-old Anthony Zambolo of Amsterdam, New York, with hindering prosecution. Police say Zambolo tipped off Victor Shear that police were looking for him following the gunpoint robbery of the Trusco Bank in Albany County last week. Local police got involved when a Shear's getaway car turned up in Highland Falls. The manhunt for Shear continues. Crime Stoppers is offering a $2,500 reward for information that leads to Shear's capture. Their tips hotline is 1-866-313-8477. In Monticello, two men face felony charges following a pair of unrelated incidents. Police have charged 23-year-old James Peralta of Monticello with gang assault and criminal possession of a weapon. In connection with an armed attack back in May, police say Peralta took part in the beating and stabbing of a 36-year-old village resident on High Street. The victim suffered a nasal, nasal fracture and a knife wound. Three others had uh, been previously arrested in that case. And Monticello police have charged the New Jersey man with first-degree felony sexual abuse following an incident in an apartment on Landfield Avenue on Monday. 32-year-old Jefferson Alvarez of Union City, New Jersey, was picked up following an investigation. The victim was an 11-year-old girl, and Alvarez was described as a friend of the family. The accident tied up traffic on the Newburgh Beacon Bridge for more than six hours late Monday night into early Tuesday morning. And now state police have arrested one of the drivers, truck driver James Tiedekin of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, charging him with felony vehicular assault, along with driving while intoxicated and criminal possession of a controlled substance. Investigators say Tiedekin's uh, tractor-trailer rig veered out of control, crossed the median, and collided head-on with an oncoming car in the opposite lanes, driven by 39-year-old Alyssa Betterbid of Wayne, New Jersey. Betterbid was being treated for head, leg, and internal injuries at St. Francis Hospital in Poughkeepsie. And New Paltz Mayor Jason West has disclosed the reason behind his decision to take a one-month paid leave of absence. In an email sent to village board members, so West said he suffers from bipolar disorder and that he needs to uh, step back for a month to focus on regaining his health. West also said he had had uh, several meetings with Deputy New Paltz Mayor Rebecca Rotzler in order to provide her as much support as possible during his absence. West recently sued the village board after a decision was made to cut his salary. And the mayor has also been at odds with those pushing for consolidation of New Paltz Village and town governments. There is sunshine in the forecast for the next couple of days, but to higher levels of humidity means uh, we cannot rule out the chance for a passing shower. 
Thursday will be partly sunny and humid with temperatures reaching the low 80s. Pretty much the same story for Friday, partly sunny, warm and humid with the highs up around 85 degrees. Get an edge on the day by starting it with the Times-Herald Record. And breaking news is just a click away right here at Record Online. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.